Welcome back. To start our build, we are going to assemble our spoiler board section first. You will need 28 M5 T-nuts and two 20x40 extrusions. Depending on the size of your machine, these will be 945mm if you have a 1010 size machine and 1445mm if you have a 15x15 machine. In one of the 40mm sides of the extrusion, slide 4 T-nuts into the top slot and 4 into the bottom. Then on the back side, another 6 in only the bottom slot. Once this is done, set aside and repeat on the second 20x40 extrusion. Let's install the end caps on these same extrusions. You will need 4 20x40 end caps and 8 M5 8mm low profile screws. Place one on each end and tighten them down. Now grab three of your 20 by 80 extrusions, which will be 960 millimeters long if you're a 1010 machine and 1460 millimeters if you're a 15 by 15, as well as 24 M5 T nuts. In the middle two slots, slide in four M5 T nuts, then repeat the same for all three extrusions and then set them aside. We now need one double L bracket and four 8mm M5 screws. Starting with the end T-nuts we placed into the 20 by 80 extrusion, thread the screws in leaving them loose so that we can slide the bracket around. Then take your 20x40 extrusion, facing the side with the 6 T-nuts in one slot to the 20x80 extrusion and butt them up against each other, again threading the screws but not tightening. Repeat the exact same steps on the furthermost extrusion and measure to find the center and line up the middle extrusion. Repeat the same steps on the other end of the 20 by 80 extrusions. The more attention you pay to measuring here, the closer to square your machine will be, so take your time and get it right.
Once these are all threaded, measure 72.5 millimeters from each end and mark with a pencil. Then line the extrusions up with the mark and tighten the screws going to the 20 by 40 extrusions T-nut first, making sure to press down on the double L bracket to ensure the top surface will sit flush. Then press the 20 by 80 extrusion firmly into the 20 by 40 and tighten the screws down. Now we can move on to the spoiler board supports. Start by finding roughly equal spacing between the 20 by 80 rails and mark on both ends. Again, accuracy will improve how square your machine is at the end. Then you're going to need 6 M5 T nuts, 6 8mm M5 low profile screws and 3 double L brackets. Start by sliding the 6 M5 T nuts into the 20mm side of the extrusion. Take note of the orientation of the double L brackets here. One side allows the top of the bracket to sit flush with the top of the extrusion. Now loosely thread the screws into the T-nuts. Repeat for the next two double L brackets. Now lay the 20 by 40 extrusions flat on the 20 by 80 extrusions and slide the double L brackets to line up with the center slots of the 20 by 80 extrusions. Thread the M5 screws into the T-nuts we previously installed in these, leaving them loose. Once these are all threaded, grab yourself a square and use it to tighten down the side of the L bracket to the 20 by 80 extrusion while holding the 20 by 40 extrusion square. Make sure to hit your measured mark. Then tighten down the screws going to the 20 by 40. Repeat the exact same steps on the top extrusion. Lastly, tighten down the double L bracket on the center 20 by 80 extrusion and then the 20 by 40 side. We can now go ahead and repeat the same steps on the other side with the last already prepared 20 by 40 extrusion that we have. Flip the whole build over and you have a completed spoiler board frame. Thanks again for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe to help me out. Stay tuned for the next video where we will build our Y axis.